Hi, I'm going to show you how to find the y-intercept, or b, when given two points on a graph. The y-intercept is the point at which a line starts on a graph. So for example, if we had a graph here, and we had a line here, the y-intercept would be right here, the point where the line starts. Now the way that we are going to find this is using the equation y equals mx plus b. In this equation, y represents the second point in each, each point on the graph. m is the slope of the graph. I'll explain that later. x is the x points on the graph, the first points and B is the y-intercept. First in the equation, y equals mx plus b. First we need to find what m is, or the slope. In order to do that, we need to put y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and this would be our slope. Now y2 is the second y point, which would be here, and x2 is the second x point, which is here. And you can guess what the first and second one are. So 8 minus 6 is equal to 2, which will be our y2 minus y1. And x2 minus x1, so 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. So our slope equals 2 thirds. Now what the slope is, this, the slope is the constant rate of change of a line on a graph as it goes up or down. So for example, our slope is 2 thirds. So if it started, if the line started here, we would it would go up 2 and over 1 and our next point would be here and so on and so on. Now that we know our slope we plug it into the equation we should have y equals 2 thirds x plus b. Now we need to take one of the points and plug the points into the equation. For example 6 is y so 6 equals 2 thirds times our and our x is 2 plus b. Now we need to multiply 2 thirds times 2 and 2 thirds times 2 is equal to one and one third. Now we need to rewrite our equation as it is now, which is six equals one and one third plus b. So we need to find out what b is. So to do this, we can do 6 minus 1 and 1 third equals b. And 6 minus 1 and 1 third is equal to 4 and 2 thirds. Now we know our whole equation. So now we can write out the equation as y equals two-thirds as our slope, x plus four and two-thirds equals, this is our b, b equals four and two-thirds, as seen right here.
Now, a way to check this is we can take our point 5 and 8 and plug this into the equation and see if it's correct. So, 8 equals 2 thirds times 5 plus 4 and 2 thirds. So, first we need to find 2 thirds times 5, which is 3.33 repeating. Now, is 3.33 plus 4 and 2 thirds equal to 8? Now we need to add 3 and 1 third plus 4 and 2 thirds which is equal, 3 plus 4 is equal to 7, and 1 third plus 2 thirds is equal to 1, so 1 plus 7 is equal to 8. So yes, the y-intercept works.